Hi, it's Timo here from Wadis Personal Development Org. Today I'm going to give you five tips to help you set the right goals for you. So let's get started. Tip number one, you want to make sure your goal is improving your present reality. So why do I mean by that? You want to avoid goals that you believe will make you happy in the future, in a year, two years, or five years from today. And you want to make sure your goal is improving your present reality, that you enjoy it that it excites you, that you want to work on it every day. So of course, sometimes you're going to be frustrated or tired, but your goal should inspire you most of the time. You shouldn't have to try that hard to get motivated. So that's why often people have a hard time with motivation because they have the wrong goals. So they are not excited about it. So you want to avoid that. So make sure your goal is improving your present reality. And tip number two is you want to make sure your goal is reflecting your values. So if you want freedom, make sure that your goals are in line with that goal that you have to have more freedom in your life, that your goals actually enhance your freedom. If you're an extrovert, make sure that you have enough time to communicate, to have enough friends, or you, you're really uh, living in line with your personality. And the same goes for introverts. So maybe you're an introvert and you want more time on your own. So make sure your goals allow you to, that they allow you to have time on your own, to reflect or to read or to do whatever you want to do. So make sure your goals are in line with your deepest values. So that's the tip number two. So tip number three, you want to make sure your goal is not someone else's goal. You want to make sure it's your goal. So... Maybe your parents want you to be a doctor or a lawyer or an architect, but what do you really want? Do you want to be a doctor or do you want to do something else? So you have to be very honest with yourself. And the second point is you want to do a reality check with your goals. So that's a concept I learned from this book here, Wishcraft, How to Get What You Really Want from Barbara Archer. So it's a very good book, pretty old. But uh, I highly encourage you to check it out if you want to achieve your goals and set the right goals for you. So there are three different parts in the reality check. The part number one is you want to imagine yourself as having achieved your goal. And let's say you want to be a doctor. Imagine yourself living one day as a doctor and try to be uh, very descriptive. Imagine yourself, what would you have to do? What would be your responsibilities? Maybe you have to work long hours. Maybe you have a lot of stress. So you want to think of both the positive side of being a doctor and the negative side. And to be as honest as possible. Or if you want to be a CEO, imagine yourself as being a CEO, having a, you know, a lot of responsibilities. Maybe you need to hire people. You need to fire people. Uh, you need to take a very difficult decision every day. And is it what you want? Do you really want to do that? Or are you, are you lying to yourself? And you have to be really, really honest with yourself regarding what you really want to accomplish in your life and what goals you want to pursue. So that's the, the first step. The second step is you want to interview people who has what you want. So if you want to be uh, I don't know, a doctor or lawyer, find someone who is a doctor or has lunch, dinner, maybe a cup of coffee and ask them about their day, about their job, what they like, but also very important what they do not like in the job. Because you want to know whether or not it's the right fit for you, whether or not it is really what you want to do with your life. So that's uh, the second step. Interview someone. And if you cannot find someone, then look for articles online, look for biographies of people who, has achieved, who have achieved your goal and read them. So do your own research. And the last point is to make sure that your goals are aligned with your life purpose. So a life purpose has different components. And I think uh, something I learned from a life coach, Celestine Chua has a website. I think it's Personal Excellence, the name of the website. And she said that a life purpose has four different characteristics. The first point is it's timeless, meaning that even if you were born in the past or in the future, we still have the same purpose. Maybe it's to save lives or to create art. 
So it's a very broad purpose that you have, but it's timeless. Then it's, it has to be universal. So it's, it's independent of your location. Even if you were born in China or in the US or in, in Europe, you will still have the same purpose. And the third point is it's inspiring. So that's obvious. You want to be excited about it. And the last point is it's transcending your ego and your fears. So it's about love. It's about expressing yourself and about contributing to the world. So that's what uh, a worthy life purpose looks like. And you want to make sure that your goals that you have in your life are aligned with that life purpose that you have. So you might have different kind of goals and it can be anything that is aligned with your way to express yourself to the world. So that's the five tips that you want to have if you want to make sure you set uh, the right goals for you. So again, make sure you, uh, it, it's your goals are improving your present reality. Make sure they are in line with your core values. Make sure they are your goals. Make sure they are about giving something to the world. And make sure they are in line with your life purpose. And if you do these five things, you will have a nice goal that you're actually excited about, that you want to look, that you want to work on every single day. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So again, make sure you set the right goals for you uh, so that you have and create the life that you want to have. So that's it for me. Please uh, like the video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment below this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.